My name is Emir Mušić uh, and this is the second week uh, of tasks or projects that we have to do. So uh, this is the DAW second week uh, and I'll be doing the uh, basic uh, editing as in trimming, uh, crossfading, cutting, coloring tracks, uh, adding marker tracks and so on to the project, in this case in Studio One, which is pretty similar to Cubase, so maybe in this case you can use this procedure maybe in both of DAW, so in Studio One and Cubase. So, first of all, uh, I'm going to use the, the area uh, tool, so to, to mark on which area I want to uh, edit, or in this case I'm going to use it for cycling. Uh, I already uh, put the guitar tracks on uh, a group and I soldered it uh, so it will be easier to, to work on. These are the tracks that we're going to work on. So we're going to use the coloring tool, in this case blue. Okay, Let's just hear this out. Uh, there's a small delay so let's try it. Uh, before that I'm going to just show you this is the marker track flag. It adds the marker track. This is how you add a marker. You can name it also. Let's say edit this in this case. Okay. So uh, the audio is going to cycle now in this area. Let's just play first. So you can hear there's a small glitch here. It's just more even the tracker if it's possible. No? Yes. Okay. So there's a small, 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 small delay or imperfect playing in this case. So I'm gonna use the scissor tool or trim tool, cutting tool. I'm gonna get it here to here. And just move it a bit. In this case, I'm using a Mac, so selecting both tracks. This is a s two mic guitar. Uh, I'm gonna use the function tool. Let's just zoom in a bit. I'm just gonna move this for a small bit. You can see you can't move it because the snap is on. Great snap. So I'm gonna unclick this I'm just gonna move it a bit okay you move these two across and select this whole track like this and press the S X key in this case I think it's the same as in Cubase so it creates crossfades so let's see if we did anything good Still not good. So let's just move it one bit more. I hope I'm doing this right. Let's say we, we made this track a bit more cool. In this case, it's we fixed the bad playing. We just select everything and right click audio, and you have this merge audio part. So it's going to merge everything you cut before and you select it. So it's going to merge the audio in one file. See it? Play. So this is kind of it. If you want to use the, the grid and everything you have uh, the snap tool which will snap the audio bar or audio line into whatever you, you crossed here, so 16th or 32 note. It's going to play in between. You have adaptive, bar, quantize, so you have all these settings which is really good to check out before you start a bigger project. So this is it for now, thank you for watching, I hope I covered everything and have a great day, cheers.